Great, so now we've covered all the basics and we are ready for our first trade. So again, over here, we can choose the future contract we want to trade. I'm gonna choose the BTC USDT perpetual future contract. Then over here, I'm gonna stick with cross margin mode and select a 10X leverage. Down here, we can see exactly how much in Bitcoin futures we can buy with our current margin balance of 100 USDT and a 10X leverage. We can also switch from BTC to USDT here to see how much that is in US dollars. As you can see, it's almost 10 times our 100 USDT, so almost 1000 USDT that we can now invest in this Bitcoin future. So then we're gonna choose our order type. For this example, I'm gonna use a market order, which means that our order will be fulfilled immediately at the currently best available price. Then I'm gonna make sure this is set to USDT so I can enter the exact dollar amount that I'd like to invest in this Bitcoin future. Or we can also just use the slider here to select a percentage of our margin balance to invest. So I'm gonna invest $500, which is around 50% of my margin balance with a 10X leverage. And then let's say I believe the Bitcoin price will increase, so I'm gonna click on buy slash long. Because this was a market order, it was filled immediately and we can now see it in our open positions down here. This position has a green bar, which means that it is a long position. Here we also have the applied leverage, which we can adjust at any time by coming back up here and changing the leverage. Then we have the current value of our position and our entry price. We also see the so-called mark price, which is a reference price that Binance uses for liquidations. We're not gonna go further into how exactly the mark price is calculated, because to be honest, I don't understand it either, but I'll leave a link to an explanation down below in the description. Next to the mark price, we can see the liquidation price for our position. This is a very important number we always wanna keep an eye on. Because when the mark price reaches the liquidation price of our position, liquidation will be triggered and we'll lose our entire margin balance. Then we have the margin ratio that we've already talked about and that we can also see right here. Then under margin, we can see exactly how much of our margin balance is allocated to this position. As we have set a 10x leverage, the allocated margin is a tenth of the position size, which we can see here. And then we also have the profit and loss and the return on equity for this position, which by default is calculated using the last price which is the price that this future has been traded at most recently. If we want to get out of a trade and close our position, there are a few ways how we can do that. The quickest way is to simply click on market, which will close our position immediately at the best available price. Or we can set our target price here and click on limit. And that will put a limit sell order in the system, which we can see here under open orders. Once the future price hits our limit price, our position will be closed immediately. Of course, we can also cancel any of our open orders by just clicking on the trash bin right here. Another way to close our long position would be to simply place a short position for the exact same amount. So we can come over here and enter the size of our open long position, but now we will go short, so we click on sell slash short. And that will then cancel out our long position. 